What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this exercise, we are going to complete the first floor framing and then after that, I'm going to show you how to add slope framing at the second floor, roof, and model a slope canopy structure at the exterior of the building. Okay, so let's do this. So we're going to add beams to our structural base. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to select systems tab. Oh, I'm sorry, the structure tab. And then here, I am going to select beam systems. Okay, so the shortcut is BS. All right, so I'm going to click this one. And then I'm going to zoom into this area here. Okay, so I will be using automatic beam system. Okay, so before that, you can also specify here the beam type that uh, you will be using. So you can select any of this type here. So I'm going to select this one. And then for the justification, I'll just select center. And then for the layout rule, I'm going to select here, let's say fixed number. And then I can specify here the number of beam. So let's say three. Okay, so that's it. So you can also turn on here the tag on placement so that when you place your beam, it will automatically place the tag. Okay, so let's turn on this one. Okay, so there is no tag loaded for structural beam systems. Do you want to load one now? I'll just select no. Okay, so I'm not going to load it. So just leave it turned off. Okay, so to do that, I'm just going to hover my pointer to this beam here. As you can see, there's the preview. If I'm going to move my pointer to the vertical one, it shows vertical uh, framings, right? But I want here horizontal. So I'm going to click this to place it. There you go. Okay, so that's it. So you just created your beam system. So let me do it to this side here as well. This one, click. This one, click. Okay, so I want vertical. So I'm going to click this. Vertical vertical this one this one here this one here uh, this one and this one okay so now the next thing that i'll be doing is i'm going to add skewed framing to our uh, uh framing bay okay so i'm gonna select your modify so i'm gonna zoom into this uh to this area here Okay, so as you can see, this uh, frame here is uh, a little skewed, right? So I'm going to create a skewed framing to our uh, framing bay. All right, so let's do this. So I'm going to select again the beam system. But this time around, instead of using automatic beam system, I'm going to select sketch beam system. So I'm going to select this. And then on the draw panel, I'm going to use here peak supports. Okay, so on my peak supports, I'm going to click this uh, line here. I'm going to click this one as well, this one as well, and then this one as well. And then make sure that your sketch here is close, no intersection, and no overlapping. That's why I'm going to use here, trim extend to corner. And then I'm going to pick this line here and then this one here. It's clear. And what else? This one is clear. This one is clear. This one is clear. Okay? Now, if I want to change the direction of my beam system, because as you can see, this direction is vertical and then we have horizontal. So let's say I want to change the direction. That's the use of beam direction. So let's click the beam direction using the line tool. Okay, so I'm going to pick to this corner, lower left corner, to upper right corner. There you go. Okay, and then after that, I'll just select here, finish, edit mode, and there you go. Then select modify, and then let's check this out in the 3D view. And there you have it. Okay. Now, the next thing that I'll be doing is I'm going to create a slope roof framing. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to select first this wall here. I'm going to change the uh, top offset. So instead of uh, 900, I'm going to lower it down to 0. 0, and then apply. There you go. Okay. Right, and then I'm going to open the second floor because this is where I'm going to place the uh, slope roof framing. 
and then I'm going to zoom into this area here and again so we will be using beam systems so from the structure let's select beam system or you can type BS for beam system so click that and then um, for the type here for the beam type I will be using uh, 460 by 52 okay and then this time instead of fixed number I'm going to select here maximum spacing and then for the space here I'm gonna make it 1800 okay I'm gonna check the 3d here and uh, walls define slope gonna make sure this is check okay so let's do this so I'm going to move my pointer like that and there you go so there's now the free view there's the preview but I want vertical okay so I'm gonna click here and there you have it and then I'll just select here modify let's check this one out in 3d view and see how it looks like as you can see there's now my slope or skewed or slope roof framing okay there you go and if I go to the section view this is how it looks like that's the one I can type SD for shaded view okay there you go right now the next thing that I'll be doing here is I'm going to model the slope canopy structure okay so I'm going to do it to this side here so I'm gonna open the first floor again and then I'm going to zoom in to this area here okay so to start creating our slope canopy structure I'm going to select the beam here let's click the beam and then for the type here I'm going to select 310 38.7 so let's click this okay and then I'm gonna move my pointer here as you can see there's a temporary dimension so I'm gonna move that to temporary dimension of 1800 like that so I'm going to pick and then I'm going to pick here that's it and then I'll select here modify okay now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, click this and then I'm going to change the value here the start level offset I'm going to make that minus 300 enter and then I'm going to do that to the other side as well so minus 300 enter okay so I just want to lower it down so in 3d view this is how it looks like right okay all right so let's go back again to the first floor and then we are going to create another uh, beam okay so let's select again the beam tool using the same type okay so I'll be creating now my beam here using the line tool okay so I'm going to pick from here to here and also from here to here so you will notice this one is minus 300 this one is zero okay so that's why if we are going to elevation 3 so this is how it looks like okay so that is minus 300 this is zero so in 3d view so this is how it looks like okay right so the next thing is we're going to add infill beams to our canopy structure so let's go back again to the first floor okay and then this time I'll be using again the beam systems or beam system and then for the beam type I'm gonna make sure 310 by 38.7 is selected and then for the layout rule let me select here fixed number and just make it three okay right and then here I'm going to select sketch beam systems and then I'll be using pick support okay so I'll select this one and then I'm going to click this support and then I'm gonna hold control and I'm gonna pick this then pick this one then pick this one as well oops for this one I'll just use the line tool to close it okay let's close that one like that and then modify so let's check all the corners so make sure it's close no intersection no overlapping 
okay so it's all good all good all right so let us now finish our uh, beam system there you go so one two three again in 3d view this is now how it looks like all right okay so to complete our canopy so let's go back again to our first floor I'm going to select here beam and change the type so this time I'll be using a round structural tubing so I'm going to select this and I'm going to move my pointer around 800 and then click and then I'm going to pick here there you go now for the height of this or for this end this one is minus 300 so this one I'm going to make it let's say uh, 1500 enter there you go okay so in 3d view this is how it looks like all right so I'm going to copy this so let me go back again to the first floor let's copy that one so select copy multiple option constraint okay and let us now pick here as the base point pick here pick here and pick here there you have it then let's select modify there you go so let's check this one out in 3d view and there you have it okay right so in this video we have learned how to add our uh, framing our beam system here and then we even had this uh, skewed framing here and then we have this slope roof framing and then finally our uh, canopy structure okay so that's how you work with beam and beam systems okay so hopefully you learned something from this video thank you for watching have a nice day